everyone. I'm going to do a Emacs demo in this video. Um, and in this video, I'm going to update my blog, my Emacs blog. Uh, I did one yesterday, uh, two, day, two days ago. Uh, that is similar, uh, but today I'm, I'm hoping to show you something new. Uh, I hope so. Um, this, this is not planned. So while I'm walking through it, I'm, you know, uh, I might, I, I probably will come up with, uh, something I'm doing and some ideas and, uh, I can, I can show you. <clears throat> so this, this is my Emacs c command, uh, uh, my Emacs blog. You see, there are many pages, like right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like 30 pages. It's too long. So I need to break it up. Put the February uh, February to a archive. Uh, so, but before we do that, there's an idea. There's another idea that uh, there is a Emacs package that will show you what command I'm calling. So let's try to install that. <coughs> so list packages. I believe the command name is. MWE something O oh, M E W M E W. So let's see, let's search for key. Okay, it's not there. Uh, I wrote about it before, so let's let's try to find it on my Emacs blog, on my Emacs website. So Emacs keys. Uh, how to key tips. Pinky. <coughs> Such notations. Uh, I don't I don't see it here, but okay. Let's go to search then. Emacs log keys, something like that. N W E. <coughs> ah, I'm sure I wrote it before. So how to set keys, minor keys, major major mod keys, minor keys, uh, priority, define key sequence, menu, super hyper key, transition. Uh, <coughs> okay, it's probably Emacs, practical Emacs, miscellaneous. Long term manage windows. What's the difference? Repeat command. No, it's in keys. <laughs> so I don't know. Let's go to the directory. M W E. M E W. Not, no, not mu. So key. No, that's too many. Our keyboard. Okay, that's keyboard log. Emacs display key. There it is. So where where is this file? So let's do that's the directory, and this is the file name. Show key and command. Okay. Show key and command. So that's that one. Copy the path. Let's open it. <coughs> so the package name is MWE log command. It's a weird name. I remember there's a newer package that kind of replaces this one. Um, so, well, right now, so there's another task coming up. I want to find out where is this, this file uh, linked. So let's do a, a search. 
that's using a uh, my package to search one of my, my package because I'll find so <coughs> Emacs keys miscellaneous index so indeed it's there okay so over the years I have so many Emacs articles it's a problem to organize them so so this article is something that not general so I guess I don't have a link to it from my main index pages but let's try to install it install it and MWE MWE okay so it's not even in Melpa that's uh, it's probably outdated <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so the name has changed. So this one is last updated uh, 2017. GitHub. So it's made by, now the new one is made by a Chinese guy, I think. Display key. So GitHub command log mod, okay. Michael Weber. So what happened to? Uh, what happened to this guy? So last last update is two thousand four. Oh, that's pretty old. So anyway, let's try this one then. Command log mod. Let's search command log mod. Let's install it. Switch panel, tab, install. Yes. Okay, it's installed. Okay, now we need to figure out how to um, set it up that's always a pain because then you have to read stuff and something may not work <coughs> so you see a quick okay there's no quick intro I, I hate that you know many of these packages there's like I just want to know how do I start to run it like what uh, minimum setup I have to do or what is a command to turn it on so it doesn't show any of that Okay, so maybe it's um, command log mod. So let's just do that. Command mod, command log mod enabled in current buffer. Okay, but I don't want the current buffer. I want global. So <coughs> you see, it doesn't show anywhere. So now I go to. Oh my God! I have to list my buffers. Basically, right now. Usually, I would just list all the buffers and see which buffer um, this uh, output might be because usually it's output into a buffer. Um, okay, let's try switch buffer. Okay, there's no. How is it different? Okay, make minor mod, global minor mod. Uh, okay, well, there's no documentation, so let's go to, um, let's read the source file, source code. It's the help to everything. <laughs> <coughs> so, 300 lines, that's, okay, I made a mistake. 300 lines, that's not much. Uh, much. 2003, Nick Ferrier, updated by. Okay. 
Yeah, so with the where's output? I just want to know the output. Let's try that again. Enabled in current buffer. Yeah, but where is the heck? New buffer. Enabled in current buffer. Yeah, but show me. Log. Uh, so let's list all lines containing buffer. That's probably too much. Oh, this one I guess to see the log call mx open log buffer open command log buffer. Yeah, that's stupid. Now this is no good because you know it's trying to what is this? So this this is actually a split pane. So okay, the buffer name is command log. You can see it here. Okay, so let's get a new one. Close this buffer. Switch to <coughs> command log. Yeah, close. Okay, this is another bad thing because you see it does not show when you switch buffer since we have the this buffer you know exist command log but when you try to switch it it does not show here compile log yeah so this is really stupid because you know what what it's trying to do is basically you know it's trying to show you a, a split split pane you know on the side and it's trying to hide it i mean the idea is that is that you know you're just going going to show it there so the problem is that no it's not general you cannot switch it switch to it you cannot place it anywhere you want uh so it's no good but anyway so we have <coughs> So close this buffer close. So okay, we already times up. So let's just do the Emacs stuff. Um, Emacs blog. So I go to the bottom of the panel, open the panel, and copy that paste. I know I want to do one for February. So I'll copy HTML, move it to top, and uh, open it. So section you see, so this is a new file, it's empty. So close it, close it, save. Now I just grab my blog February to there save open last saved open last saved paste showing browser there it is so uh, and uh, okay and uh, there's one more thing I need to do open the January copy that I need to update the title. You see, I want to show you know the full title. So, so close that, close that, and that's and basically that's it. So we come back to Emacs blog, and go all the way down. It's February, uh, two thousand eight, two thousand eighteen February. Now I refresh the browser. You see, it's um. Uh, March and February is here so okay so that's that's good um, let's see what else oh so you, you see this sucks this this 
this package sucks donkey ass. Is it because you when you enable it, it only enables for the current buffer, but I want to enable it for global. You, well, typically, you know, you want to en enable it globally. I mean, what's the point of just a current buffer? So, you know, what happened is that all the command I did, you don't see here because I forgot to turn it on. So another method to see what command you have been calling or typed is is this. Uh, let's close it. Yeah, close it. So the command name is view lossage. It's, it's a stu stupid name, but <laughs> but I have the key uh, delete hl, and I'm using a Vorac keyboard, so that's actually the Vorac hl. Uh, and I'm using a uh, Kinesis Advantage 2 keyboard. So the delete key, this is actually the key on my left thumb. That's forward delete key. So anyway, call that command and expand the window. You can see all the command I was using. Um, see, start next window, that's just W. And that lets me to either switch panes or if there's no panes switch the window uh, the frame um, previous line next line so anyway okay I think let's wrap it up for this one uh, I haven't updated my Emacs yeah well I mean I, I mean to sync to the server so once it's synced to the server you can see it on my blog I got Emacs. Yes, sir. Too big. Okay, that's normal. See, February is there. Now it. So I I'm maintaining my Emacs blog all manually. Uh, that's Richard Stallman. He he's still looking good. <laughs> he's sixty five. Um, yes, he's sixty five now. So my Emacs blog, it's all. It, well, all manually done and everything is manually typed there so this page is still pretty long usually I keep I used to keep it only for 15 screens but you know how technology advances so these days it doesn't matter unless I have lots of images but anyway so go back here down so March March is like Two months ago. Okay, that's that's okay. So what, usually what I do is um, February. Now it's up there. Usually I kind of scan through this page actually, and uh, when whenever there's a long article, for example this one, Emacs grab GNU grab problems. Uh, Okay, that's not significant. I mean, usually you want to, when there's a significant article, um, opinion, I mean, this one is just a little little rant. It's not significant. But, but whenever, if I wrote something, some opinion I think that's worth saving, I create a new file for it and, and uh, create a link, you know, like this, you know. So it's more permanent. Because few people, you know, read all these old archives. Uh, those go back. So, so go back here. So, so what? What else? I, you know, I'm trying to find something else to do. Okay. So anyway, so this command, this. Command log mod, it's problematic. You know, it needs to. Is it a global? Let's see. Global command log. Okay, there it is. Okay, I'm stupid. Ah, oh, that's good. <laughs> okay. Global command mod. Now, Michael Weber. Now, who's that guy? Um, 
so what else did he do? I think there's something, but I can't remember right now. So how long we have? Uh, okay, so this video is 15 minutes. Let's stop it now.